Hazen from Hidoko, and what I'm going to show is our smart compression suit that okay. captures the movement of the body for athletic uh, performance tracking. Okay. Uh, I'll, I, I'm wearing it actually underneath my clothes mm -hmm. uh, to demonstrate that it is like an under under undergarments that yes. uh, you can wear and start the application. Okay. I'll zoom in on the app now. And connecting to the pairing with the garment. Okay, and then this is uh, Bluetooth? Yes. So it looks for the garment, connects to it. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we start our training. We choose the sport that uh, uh, of our choice. Okay. Basically what we have so far is uh, golf, yoga, basketball, and cross. Okay. Cross training, one that works. We choose the exercises that uh, we're... Up okay, to. and the choices there, they are... Um, uh, this, for, for this screen, we, uh, we only, the only one working is the uh, power, uh, power squat. Okay. Um, everything else, you know, we are, we're building up the database of, okay. of our exercises as we go. Okay. So, um, this, the number of exercises that you see here will be growing as, mm -hmm. uh, as, as the application will grow. Okay. So, the one that works. First screen, it shows uh, with the uh, the uh, recorded movement with the suit mm -hmm. uh, what the user is supposed to do. Okay. The second screen, I'll put, just put it here so I can. Okay. And before you go to that, just to yes. be clear, the recorded movement can either be your recorded exactly. movement you or record your a uh, recorded movement you aspire to be. Exactly. Correct. Exactly. Yes. So either you take your own personal recording. Uh -huh. uh, to build up your muscle memory, or yeah. uh, you take a research uh, golden standard that okay. uh, we have on our database. Okay. So now I start training. I connect, and you can see it's tracking my movements. I can confirm that he's really making these movements. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. So moving my feet, soccer kick. Yeah. In. And after this, this last screen is not connected yet because I'm doing, you know, okay. I'm just showing the live movement. Back so, what it's supposed to do is uh, uh, take the golden standard yep. for your recording and compare it to what you just did. Right. And give you a measure of accuracy of how further apart are you from the original uh, recording. So, uh, and it, it tells you where uh, where it went wrong, where the move went wrong, mm -hmm. where you can correct it, mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, better your performance. Basically. Okay, and then the way I understand it, also uh, a trainer could set up a program for you where they want you to do specific things yes. when you're working out on your own, and then get that information and help you change it for the future. Exactly. Uh, the coaches have two ways of using of using the app. First is uh, either they can record their own uh, routines or choose their own routines and send it mm -hmm. out to their, to their athletes. Uh, the other way is that we are building a, a web dashboard for them so they can uh, access the historical mm -hmm. data of uh, what their athletes did. Mm -hmm. So uh, performance, uh, risk of injury, if a specific athlete is repeating a, a faulty move over okay. and over again. Uh, he runs into, uh, you know, he risks uh, an injury, that, mm -hmm. a chronic injury that comes back, like okay. uh, uh, shoulder dislocations, for example, come from a faulty movement that mm -hmm. you repeat over time. Okay. Uh, and they can prevent that before it happens. They can see that, they, that the, their athletes are doing a faulty move and they can mm -hmm. correct that before the injury actually happens. Okay. And what parts of the body are the sensors at? The uh, they are uh, tracking basically uh, torso, the limbs, yeah. uh, you know, both uh, thighs and arms and upper arm, forearm. Okay. And we have full torso uh, okay. movement uh, with the hips and shoulders. Great. Okay, great. Thank you.